Suicide is the third leading cause of death among young people, resulting in about 4,400 deaths per year, according to the Center for Disease Control. Bullying is becoming more common among young people, and it's getting to the point where it's causing some people to have suicidal thoughts or even attempting to commit suicide. Bullying and suicide are serious topics, but how can we stop them? There are many different types of bullying and many different ways it can happen. Cyberbullying is one of many, but it is the most common because some kids are too afraid to say things to another space, so they hide behind the screen. The Suicide Prevention Resource Center states, keep up with technology because bullying often takes place in areas hidden from adult supervision. Bullying can also lower a person's self-esteem. Youthful bullying can be so destructive as to shatter one's self-esteem to the point where a youngster believes the only way out is suicide. Some of the warning signs for suicide include signs of depression, talking about or showing interest in death, substance abuse, reckless behavior, saying or expressing the fact that they can't handle things anymore, and making comments that things would be better without them. Around 4,400 deaths caused by suicide happen per year among young people, but what they don't know is that suicide does not solve all of your problems. They never realize that there are people who care for them or love, for, love them, even if they think nobody does, and they would miss them terribly. There are some ways we can start and try to stop bullying. There are many bullying and suicide prevention programs already, but we also have to pay attention and see if we notice any signs that someone is being bullied or even thinking about committing suicide. If so, we need to report it immediately. In conclusion, bullying and suicide are not something we should mess around with, so next time you hear about someone being bullied, put yourself in their shoes and think of a way you could help them.